This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Wednesday, March 28, 2012. In Canada, scattered rain is occurring in the following Canadian cities, Vancouver, Calgary, Sudbury, Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec, and St. John's. The jet stream and water vapor analysis places BC and Alberta at highest risk, and southern Ontario, including Toronto. In the U.S., Significant precipitation is occurring in the following states, California, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana. This area also coincides with the jet stream and water vapor maps. On the other side of the country, a strong band of storms moving south-southeast coincides with other risk factors in Kentucky, West Virginia, and Maine. These areas are all under high potential fallout risk as well. In Europe, Significant precipitation is forecasted for Finland, Norway, and Sweden, as well as Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Southern France may see rain also. The jet stream will be pushing down through Europe and coincides for Scandinavia, making it the area of highest potential fallout. Nuke Report In Fort Calhoun, Nebraska, there was an off-site notification due to an inadvertent siren actuation. At the Arkansas nuclear plant, it was discovered that the spent fuel handling machine is not fully qualified for a seismic event. Current seismic analysis indicated a lack of margin for several structural parts of the machine. At the Harris Power Plant in North Carolina, it was discovered that ventilation was not functioning properly for three separate incidents in the emergency operations facility. The report does not indicate whether employees were exposed. At Shared Medical Technologies in New Richmond, Wisconsin, a radioactive perfusion kit burst into flames while a patient was undergoing a lung perfusion test. The patient received burns to their head and face and was treated in a nearby emergency room. There is no indication of what caused this event. At MIT's research reactor in Cambridge, Massachusetts, an emergency shutdown occurred. When they attempted a restart, the reactor began to overheat and had to be manually shut down again. Investigation into this event is ongoing. In Salem, New Jersey, a discharge of sewage of approximately 2,000 gallons overflowed to a local river. And in Byron, Illinois, an electrical problem was discovered with the emergency diesel generator. The Unit 2 remains in cold shutdown while this is repaired. To report a safety concern about a reactor near you, please call the NRC hotline at 800-695-7403. I encourage anyone living by any of the mentioned power plants to contact their local news affiliate to cover these stories. This message has been brought to you by Radchick and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.